If you control this, you're bumped. If you control this, you're pre-jumped. And it would have been more effective just to boom this into the net or boom this over here. It's the game sense that's bugging me because we're trying to control in opportunities that aren't really great opportunities to control. And I'd rather just you recognize. So we're going to look at Dyer. This will be champ three. Champ three threes, working on keeping pace with the play and keeping moving. Let's get it, Dyer. I believe last week was all about momentum. All about momentum. Yes, sir, dude. I actually liked last week's review for sure. We'll see what's going on. This would be champ three threes. And this is duo cues. They're not solo queue, but duo queue. I like that. Honestly, I recommend duo queuing over a full stack party. Uh, it's good placement on the shot. Pretty good placement. Um, it just broke down right there, but we're not going to nitpick it. That was pr pretty good placement for champ three. Up. Oh, close. Close, close, close. Good. Good. Mechanics look nice. What do we do? Very good. Very good. Um, unfortunate that that boom didn't go to the midfield, but that's very good boom. I'm really happy we boomed this and didn't control it. You would think open space, wall control, but in a three setting, like the first man's going to dive or pre-jump or go off the ceiling. Or I'm glad we boomed this. Nice follow-up touch, too. Beat. Very good. Very good. I actually... I like... Our beats, right? We're beating players. Our control is nice, too. I would like to get out of the ground. Um, although we did have... Good ground control. I, I think the end goal for you is to get into the air more. But I like our beats. Do we boom? Um, I'm kind of feeling like a boom and chase vibe. I, I mean, I like control. Control is very pretty on paper when you control the ball. Like, that's what you should be doing. But I, I feel like you have so much room to run in, like, champ three to GC1 right now with, with how you play. Just by hitting the ball hard, playing fast, demoing, and and that's it. <laughs> and stealing boost. I'm getting kind of like an over-control vibe. And I like that. Because what I like from you is this. And what I like from you is this beat. This is beautiful. Right? We're not trying... If we shot that, he's pre-jumping the shot. We just beat over. I love that. And it leads into a goal. And I love this boom right here. And what's kind of bugging me a little bit is we're getting space, right? We have a little pocket of space. And on paper, controlling the ball is smart. But in a three setting, it kind of like it washes out, just washes away. Like if you have wide open space from here to here, yeah, control the ball. But when you control right here, this player is not going to get sauced up. He's going to ego you into the net that's a big what if but i don't like i I like this control it's good mechanics but i don't like the game sense behind the control and then i also didn't like this play like we're trying to control this play right here i would have loved to have seen you simply boom the ball and maybe you boom it into the lip it bounces and then you follow it up on the wall maybe you just try to do what you did say so you're doinking it but doink it higher and harder and farther the game sense when we're controlling the ball is kind of what's bugging me and i just think you have a lot of room to run with hitting the ball hard playing fast kind of building on that momentum beating players that's where my head's at we'll see and i don't know if you were here for tet fee's review i talked about sidewall double touches corner double touches that is a mechanic Mechanic is typically control, but that is a control mechanic that's fast. Something you can do, like working on your up, 
And this is sidewall double touch. And keep that momentum and double it. Love, see, like, I love that beat. I love the boom. And I do think we're a little soft on the demos, meaning I haven't really seen you look for demos. And that's kind of, like, why I'm getting a kind of this boom and chase vibe because, like, the completion of boom and chase is hit the ball hard, beat players, demo, and steal boost and play fast. And the whole point is to outpace the team. And I feel like boom and chase is, like, the best kind of advice. Because, like, this play right here, dude, Imagine you just boomed it, like, and took a full court shot. That actually might be in the net. We go to control, but, like, again, the game sense with the control, like, if you control, right, you're, you're slowing down. That's what control is for the most part, unless you, like, throw in double touches, which are fast control. If you control this, you're bumped. If you control this, you're pre-jumped. And it would have been more effective just to boom this into the net or boom this over here. It's the game sense that's bugging me because we're trying to control in opportunities that aren't really great opportunities to control. And I'd rather just you recognize there's nothing here. Let me throw the ball away. You probably wouldn't score this ball, but this is just like the game sense behind this play is let's just get the ball out. Very good. Um, and I will say this is huge improvement from last week. I, I don't want it to come off like I'm saying you're playing bad. Uh, huge improvement from last week. And I love the control again. I, I love the control. I just don't like the moments and also the types of control we're going for. Where I want to see an air dribble. That's it. Just like what I talked about with uh, the previous replay about air dribbles. Ground to air, sidewall. That is your control play, your fast play, booming, beating, doubling. And I really want demos, man. And I want you to work on doubles, bro. You have it. You can go up for this and psycho it. And no, the psycho is not going to go back to their net, but you could turn this into a double. Like you literally have the, for a lot of these plays, you have the first touch control for the double touch. I want you to work on double touches. I want you to work on air dribbles. And the game sense is a little bit more boom and chase. I promise you, you're still going to... Um, really good pass back. Um, you're, you're still going to control, I promise you. Definitely more of a game sense-centric replay. Everything else looks good. It's more of our decision making. Good. Good. You see how this player just tried to double it? You literally have this. You need to start going for that. You have the first touch control. You have that mechanic. You just need to use it. And we need more air dribbles. That's our control play. And we need more demos, dude. But that's tied into the boom and chase. We're just... What we're doing right now is building on the speed, on the momentum that we discussed last week. We're building on that. Yeah, very, very simple focus on the demos. I could like totally rant on why I want demos, but I just want you to keep it simple and just look for these demos on the way back. All right. And maybe like over time we can go deeper into it, but for now, just simple application guarantee you'll see a, a huge impact in gameplay overall. Super good though. That was like a huge level up.